Okay guys, now we're gonna learn about water flow. Water comes into your system in one of three ways, either through the vacuum line, the skimmer, or the main drain. When we're looking at water flow, it's always gonna come in and we always need to follow the pipes. So the water is gonna come in from the suction and one of these three pipes, it's gonna continue on into this main, uh, hair and lint strainer. The hair and lint strainer will capture all your big debris, that's your leaves, your pine needles, and then it's gonna to continue to filter the water through the system. So it comes up through the main, uh, through the hair and lint, through this pipe, it goes into the multi-port. In filter, the multi-port sends the water into your big filter through this pipe right here. It's gonna now filter all the small debris, the oil, the dirt out of the water and return clean water back through this lower pipe into your return line. If we continue, we're gonna follow the return line all the way back down and continue on. You see the uh, flow meter and then it goes into the ground. Okay guys, when talking about pipe flow, I wanna look at all options where pipes connect and where pipes come in. You'll see right here, I've got my main pipes going into my hair and lint strainer, but this smaller pipe right here is connecting. Water is either coming in or going out of some sort. I also have this blue um, ball valve that's shut and my water respins on here. This is showing me that this is water that I can turn on this, turn open up and water will flow into the system. When looking at flow, you always wanna make sure you follow every pipe because they can mean different things. In this case, this means water. Okay guys, so you'll see here, here's another great instance of flow. You've got my return line here and it actually splits really unique for this pool into two big pipes. So we'll keep following these pipes all the way down. And as we follow these pipes, you're gonna see them both go all the way into the wall. You'll see right here, you've got your flow meter again and the other one just goes over here. This one goes back. In this case, these two pipes, the water's returning one to the big coconut and water bucket feature for the shallow end. The other one's returning it back into the main pool. Always follow your pipes because they mean different things if they split off. Okay, guys, here we have the coconut feature as well for a, uh, the pool. You'll see the water is going to come up here. If I follow the pipe, all I'm doing is seeing where water can flow. Here's my two-way split. Some water will go this way. Some water comes here. If you notice the water on this pipe goes straight back down into the ground, meaning this is the return back into the pool. The small little bit of water that's here comes into this jandy that's a three-way jandy valve. If we zoom in over here on the jandy, you'll notice it says off and it's pointing right here. So you see these little things, the off is not on any part of the pipe. Right now I've got full water going to the features through this small pipe. If I want it to stop the water from coming into the buckets, I'll just come back here on the jandy and I can close my jandy valve. Now no water will be going to our coconut buckets. Instead, all of the water will be returning to the pool. What's very important to note is I can close it all the way down like this because there's a second pipe to send water to the pool. If this was my only jandy valve and there was only one pipe, I could never close this all the way down or I would build pressure and burst the pipe. All right, managers, you may be saying that we don't have a coconut feature, so this is video isn't important to you, but the way the water flows and being able to know when to close, you can close or open a jandy valve, a butterfly valve, or a ball valve really is important. So if you have any special feature, any kind of waterfall, mushroom, spray pad at one of your pools, this will be applicable. Always start at the pump, follow your water flow, see what valves you can open and close. Those will go to your different sprays, your different feature pressures, and then make sure that you can always have it either all the way open, partially closed, or all the way closed. It will give your feature the desired effect that you want.